Just how did Monica Kimani die? Well, the business lady was found dead in a bathtub with, uh, she was found with a bathtub with her neck slit ear to ear and her neck slit her hands tied from behind at Alamuria Gardens apartment in Kilimani off Dennis Street Road on September 20th, 2018. The body was found by her brother, George Kimani, when he visited Monica's apartment to ascertain her safety after he failed to reach her old mobile phone the whole night. Shadrach Media takes us back to how the news of Monica Kimani's death broke out. Upon Monica Kimani's arrival from South Sudan on September 19, 2018, police report indicated that she was dropped by a taxi at 7.30 p.m. She then left to collect a delivery at the gate after which a neighbor identified as Owen came to her house to deliver a South Sudanese car she had given him earlier. Another neighbor, a Lebanese national, joined the two at the apartment. The three neighbors were later joined by a fourth visitor, a man dressed in a pair of jeans, a grey hoodie, a cap and a white robe, otherwise referred to as Kanzu. The man, who was later identified by police as Joseph Joey Irungu, had registered at the gate as Dominic Kamau. Sina msichana mwingine, ni huyu Monica peke yake. Kwa nini ikawa hivo? Her body was found floating in her bathtub. Her neck was slit ear to ear and her hands tied from behind. And water was running freely at her Lamuria Gardens. She was supposed to do a birthday here with everyone, all family members. She had already organized to call like everyone, from the grandma to everyone. Senior Inspector of Police Maxwell Otieno further listed 12 issues that linked Joey to Kimani's death, among them being at the scene, being identified positively by three witnesses, the last person to interact with the deceased, and intentionally burnt the cloth he used, among other issues. Joseph Joey Irungu was the first one to be arrested after witnesses at a police parade positively identified him as the last man seen walking out of Monica Kimani's apartment on September 19th. His name came up during investigations after one of those who had recorded statements told police they knew him as a Joe and Maribe's boyfriend. Another suspect, Brian Kasaine, who was a neighbor to Maribe, was also arrested in connection with a gun Irunga allegedly used to shoot himself. Kasaine was later freed and turned into a prosecution witness and assisted police to reconstruct the events of the night Monica was killed. He also helped police discover how evidence was allegedly destroyed by the principal suspect in the murder. Jackie Maribe, the second suspect in Monica Kimani's murder, was arrested on September 29, 2018, after a long day of questioning at the DCI headquarters on Kambu Road. Police also recovered a partially burnt white robe, a t-shirt, cap and other clothing in her compound. Incidentally, it was Maribe who read the news announcing the murder of Monica Kimani during the lunchtime bulletin on Citizen TV on September 20th. The hunt for more suspects in the murder took a new twist after police arrested one of their own, a wreck squad officer believed to be the second person who was at Monica's house the day she died. Jennings Orlando was arrested on October 18, 2018, shortly after he arrived in Nairobi. The General Service Unit officer was however released unconditionally after one of the detectives in the investigative team told the court to release him. On September 28, 2018, Monica Kimani was buried at her home in Gilkil, where her family said they had forgiven her killers, but undertook to ensure justice for her. Shadrach Miti, KTN News. Meanwhile, Joseph Irungu's lawyer, Professor Hassan Nandwa, says they will appeal against the sentence once sentencing is done. The court will issue sentence against Joey on the 